And now I want to present uh, uh, in parallel two uh, persons uh, with, with their collaboration, the mission became possible. Uh, Mr. Papahastidis and Mrs. Uh, Mr. Uh, Sextos. Dr. Papahastidis Aristidis is the president of Hellenic Association for Earthquake Engineering. And since uh, 2014, he's the president elected of the Hellenic Federation of Technical Software Companies, that is an association of 26 private companies. And uh, first of all, I'm going to give the floor to Mr. Papahastidis. And then I'm going to give the floor to Mr. Sextos, uh, who is the professor of earthquake engineering at the University of Bristol and is the past president of the Hellenic Association for Earthquake Engineering. Mr. Sextos is the national delegate of Greece in the European Association for Earthquake Engineering and uh, an active member uh, of the board of numerous prestigious European international associations and committees uh, and working groups. Uh, it's for sure that uh, without them, uh, uh, the mission uh, uh, won't, we won't be able uh, to, to have the mission uh, succeed, succeed. Thank you for your collaboration. And the floor first to Mr. Papastidis. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nagnostaki. Just to make sure that you can see my presentation, a quick confirmation. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. Um, as Ms. Anagnostaki said, I'm Aristides Papaxis, the president of Hellenic Association for Earthquake Engineering. I would like to start by expressing our sympathy to those impacted by the earthquake sequence. I would like uh, also uh, to thank President Stasinos for his support, Professor Sexos and Ms. Anagnostaki for the management of the mission, and Professor Serberik and Sakir for their valuable help on the clearance procedure. The agenda of today's webinar is in the chat box. You can type your questions during the webinar in the Q&A panel if you have joined using Zoom or in the chat box if you are watching through YouTube. We will try to answer them all as they come or during the special session at the end of this webinar. The recording of the webinar will be available in the YouTube channel the next days after editing it and organizing it into smaller parts. A few words about Hellenic Association for Earthquake Engineering, so-called ETAM, for those who may not be familiar. ETAM is the national member, the national branch of the European and International Associations for Earthquake Engineering. Our 450 members include the researchers and practitioners in, in earthquake engineering. ETAM organizes reconnaissance missions after each strong earthquake event in Greece or close countries and publishes the corresponding technical reports. For this specific mission, the report is planned to be published till the end of the month, and you will get a, not a notification about this. In the field, in order to do our rapid visual inspections, we use our own Android application with geolocation, and both the application and its database are open, are free to all the TAM members and participants to the reconnaissance teams. In this specific reconnaissance mission, we performed around 250 inspections using a TAMS application and around 250 more using a AFAD, FADS application. The dots uh, that appear as an overlay to the shape map and the PGA contour are representing the areas that the team visited related to the epicenter of the first earthquake, magnitude 7.8. Uh, during the first day, the team visited Gaziantep, that was our base. During the second day, the team visited Pazardik, Golbash to observe the relative settlement of many structures, and Adiaman, that is the region with one of the highest number of deaths per population as a rate. During the third day, the team visited Kahamanmaras, and the industrial area of Turkoglu. For the fourth day, we went to Antakya. We will present many pictures from there. Then in Skedurun to observe the, the liquefactions 
over there. And on our way back to Gaziantep, we visited the hospital of Dotriol. During the last day, we visited Nurdei, Islaye, and Adana. The reconnaissance team traveled over 1,500 kilometers in total in the region affected by the disaster. This is the same overlay with the dots corresponding to the areas that we visited, but having uh, a shake map of the second earthquake, the epicenter was there and the magnitude was 7.5. And here you see the names, faces of the researchers who went to Turkey and will be presenting in today's webinar. NTUA members were, Professor Elizabeth Vizileu, Manolis Vujukas, Evangelia Garini, Georgia Zetas, Christo Zeris, Panos Stanopoulos, Vasilis Marinos, Marina Moretti, Anastasio Sextos, and Zilla Tsekimes. Uh, from ETAM, Christos Yalelis, Vasiliki Palieraki, Dimitrios Pitilakis, Sotiria Stefanidou, George Atas, and Panagiotis Tsopelas. The ones who are not presenting today made their presentations to a similar seminar, not online, about a month ago. But all team members joined the webinar today to answer to your questions. I would like to thank them all for their valuable help. With that, I pass it to Professor Sextos so that he introduces our next presenter. 